Robin Reed Weather Center. Here's your first alert hometown weather forecast. Well, highs will once again soar to record levels this afternoon. It's a live look from downtown Roanoke. We are seeing a mixture of sun and clouds to a mostly sunny sky. And thanks to downsloping winds, we have now warmed up to 78 degrees. We jumped five degrees in the last hour, and here's why. We have a sustained northwest wind at 22. At last check, we have gusted up to around 28 miles per hour. That dew point is continuing to crash now into the lower 50s. Other current temperatures, mainly into the upper 60s and a little bit 70. 72 currently in Blacksburg, 74 in Martinsville, already 75 in Danville, 73 currently in Phoenix, and a little bit cooler up in Hot Springs coming in in the lower 60s. So we're seeing that breezy northwest wind gusts to up to around 20 or 30 miles per hour in some of our hometowns, and that will persist behind that frontal boundary for the rest of this afternoon. So we'll be tracking records once again this afternoon for the third day in a row. I have bumped up the high temperature to around 80, 81 uh, later on this afternoon in Roanoke into the uh, upper 70s there in Lynchburg. The record or the uh, forecast high 78 there in Danville in the mid 70s there in Blacksburg. So we'll get very close to if not break records later on this afternoon. Do want to give you the first alert to the next big thing. And there are some big changes on the way for the upcoming weekend. These temperatures more seasonable on the way for Saturday afternoon with some increasing cloud cover, but overall it's going to be a gorgeous Saturday on the way. We'll start off with temperatures in the 30s and 40s and warm up into a little bit 60s by the afternoon hours. As we head into our Sunday, though, there's some model disagreement with the timing of the cold front and the moisture associated with that. So I have put in showers will be developing throughout the day. There is a chance that much of the daylight hours could be mainly dry for most of our hometowns. A lot of cloud cover temperatures mainly into the uh, 50s to lower 60s. Now I'm going to show you our in house short range modeling here, and this by no means is the gospel. It's going to go back and forth here over the next day or so, but I want to show you what it's showing right now. So increasing cloud cover for the second half of Saturday and as we head into Sunday, here we are midday. Some spotty showers across the mountains will certainly be possible, but this has the moisture delayed by late evening Sunday, mainly an overnight event heading into early Monday with that frontal boundary working on through. So I we'll have to watch this closely, but overall drying conditions are expected through the day on Veterans Day Monday out there right now. First Lord Doppler is quiet. We've got high pressure building in off toward the north and west. There's that frontal boundary down toward the south and east and near record high temperatures likely once again for this afternoon. Your first alert seven day forecast. Enjoy the warmth if you're a fan of it. Today will be the last day. More seasonable air will return for Saturday, 50s to near 60 with a lot of cloud cover on Sunday. And then we're warming back up lower 70s on the way for Monday. Another frontal boundary could work into the region as we head toward next Thursday. Yeah, all right, so relief is coming if it has been a bit too warm for you. 80s in November yeah. is a lot. Oh um, yeah, the AC has been kicking on. <laughs> right, yeah, and I was going to say mine kicked on yesterday. Can't believe it, crazy for November. Yeah. We're talking about, you know, not being able to get really your winter clothes down just yet, just because you still need that T-shirt and shorts. And I know. Back <laughs> to back to back days. Shopping. I mean, we're wow. three days in a row now. Yeah. yeah either record tying or record breaking heat. Exactly. Well, might as well make history if it's going to be this warm, right? Yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Bradford.